Hey everyone, JCS Starcraft here, bringing you a group stage game between Inflow Clan and Root Clan. Um, and so, actually getting started here on Steps of War, Kapok, I think his name, is going to represent uh, Inflow, and Druby is going to represent... Um, <laughs> Uh, and I think, uh, okay, I guess we're getting some sort of lag here as all the clanmates are watching each other. But Druby is part of Root Gaming, and Root Gaming has one of my favorite clans to watch right now. They have some of, I think, the top players out in StarCraft 2, uh, Kiwi Kaki, QXC, Slush, uh, Chef, and just a whole bunch of other guys on there. I don't know as much about Inflow, although I do know that Inflow, I think, is a Korean team. Um, for the most part, or at least their their leader is Korean. It, it, it says so on the on the SGL uh, website, and they also have a, a really famous player made famous by HD StarCraft, who is Mask, uh, the Canadian player who notoriously beat all sorts of uh, <laughs> beat the crap out of Hydra for a little bit, and kind of really popularized that one uh, that fast expansion against Protoss, uh, one Rax FE. So should be pretty interesting. This is a King of the Hill. Uh, battle meaning that the players will play until they are knocked out by their opponent. It is a best out of uh, nine. Is that right? Best out of nine, you win. No, or I think it's or maybe it's first to four uh, wins the battle uh, between the, the the two clans. And so, going to be broadcasting all, all the replays here. It looks like Kapok is going to be coming in and doing, trying to do some harassing. Druby going with a pretty standard opening, 12 racks, 13 refinery. Um, I don't know if Kapok was playing random uh, because Druby seems to be walling off in the front here. Not quite as necessary against your Protoss opponents, I think. Uh, uh, against Zerg for sure, but against Protoss, unless you think they're going to be doing some sort of crazy two-gate rush. But nope, Druby going to be walling off anyways. Maybe that's just... Kind of how he likes to play against Protoss. Uh, Druby also uh, recently, I think, had a game against Hydra where he really felt Hydra's rage come out. And this this uh, probe right here trying to block the <laughs> Marine from coming out. I don't know. Oh, no. Just trying to block anything from getting walled off at this point in front. So Druby going to be walling off with two supply depots in the front. And it looks like that probe is still wandering around the base. Druby trying his best to get rid of it. Die, probe, die. And it finally goes down explodes in the face and Druby now gonna be oh here comes that first zealot can it slice through is it gonna hit that I don't know I think it's hitting the supply depot so it's gonna have to back off soon pretty soon here um, unable to take this out because the SCV is there to repair and there's a marine pestering it by firing little bullets at its face but no instead the it's gonna be uh, two uh, just a few uh, zealots out in front right now and kind of different play I think from from Kapok Kapok um, I uh, have never seen this player play before, so but uh, I think getting that two, do those two zealots out to do some sort of pressure, so maybe Druby knew something I did and was able to wall off here in time and not have those, not have the zealots uh, come into his base. This is Steps of War after all, so you know there is a very short rush distance right now. Um, but a lot of the, or maybe the top level players I've been watching, uh, typically try to go with the Stalker first in case there are Reapers in their base. If Druby had gone from some sort of Reaper attack, it would have been a little bit more difficult to hold off with just two of those Zealots. And right now, Druby going to be playing one base Terran, um, wants to establish some forces because he was pressured early on before. He is going to take an expansion, so going to be throwing down uh, two more Raxes right now and should be pretty interesting. The SCVs are scouting all over the map trying to figure out if there's any trickery or <laughs> anything going on here. And it looks like probably a four gate coming up from Kapok. He's got his second gateway down. Going to be chrono boosting that warp gate technology. So trying his very best and uh, might be trying to throw proxy pylon here. Although he was discovered that SCV won't survive this attack because of the lightning prodding going on from Kapok. Um, but Druby will figure out that, you know, his opponent... Is trying, oh, and bringing it around. This is a good move by Owens. Oh, uh, Concussed the show. <laughs> able to take it out with the help of the Marauder. This SCV is very thankful because he has five hit points left. And the Marauder did come in to save his life for a little bit there. Looks like he will be planting down. Oh, so kind of throwing down a Stargate uh, out here. And doing some... Looks like he's going to be doing some Phoenix play. Uh, so pretty interesting. Forgapod not going to... Obviously, not uh, Drewby not going to see that. What's going on out there looks like a pretty standard four gate to him, so he's just going to defend likewise. And uh, should let's see if he will, uh, if Kapok will be able to get, 
pull off anything with these uh, with the phoenixes and one coming out usually you need about two or three three being optimal before you really push in but if you're really in a hurry then two should be more than enough and drew me now looking at the income tab both players pretty even at this point both players playing one base uh, I I doubt that they've ever kind of met face to face before so a lot of these games unfortunately I think both players will play pretty uh, especially the first game I think both of the players will play pretty standard play and probably not going to do any crazy expands or anything like that uh, pretty early on just trying to establish and feel out their opponent what is interesting though is that their clan mates are watching this right now and so they can see their opponent and kind of spy them out beforehand so that's the downside of the king of the hill format is that you know you you will be seen by your opponents before they come in Phoenix is coming in going to be trying to lift off maybe one or two SCVs uh, enough mana for that and then they're going to have to get out of there so good job by Kathan to stop this factory from going down it's going to slow down Juby just for a little bit not too much longer and the Marines are trying to get rid of them as soon as possible going to be picking up possibly one of these Marauders there just enough mana for another Graviton Beam and it looks like right now just trying to get the harass on um, <laughs> taking out one of the <laughs> one of the mules right now and the Marines are trying to chase these down Phoenixes have a good amount of hit points with pretty strong shields as well so they can just fly around all day long and not be too worried about getting taken down by these slow moving Marines um, looking at the production tab it looks like speed charge getting um, I like to call it speed I don't know why anyways charge going down for the zealots as he is going up against a pretty big bio ball right now with no air support at all um, everything has been upgraded for the ground units and trying to get some shots in I am not entirely sure why Drew is not stimming at this point as he could take off a few more shots but maybe just wants to drive them away and does not have any way to reinforce doesn't even have a starport down yet so might be uh, I think might have been going for some sort of early timing attack did scan did see his opponent was going for some sort of four gate so needed as many units as he could get on the ground and now going to be establishing something or pushing in or just kind of wandering out a little bit too so waiting for that plus one I think to finish nope he's just gonna charge ahead and Drewby's gonna make a push right now the starport will not finish in time thanks to these phoenixes so the phoenix is doing a very good job by Kapok to uh, kind of slow things down uh, I this this it could go either way right now the a great force is being thrown down forces are choked off on both sides although he does have sight of the ramp and those zealots aren't able to get in so not it was a good force field but not enough uh, range units for Kapok to really take advantage of that the zealots just kind of clustering in the front right there and unfortunately these phoenixes caught out of position as well and one of them about to go down it looks like Kapok is going to try to do his best to hold things off but Drewby uh, did make a pretty strong push and once that starport is down he did already swap it with the reactor it's going to be that much harder for Kapok to defend although he is researching Psystorm right now so that will be able to help him out quite a bit um, I might expect Drewby to throw down some sort of ghost academy sometime soon once he realizes those um, those Psystorms are going to be raining <laughs> raining down on his unit so Drewby right now taking his time, taking advantage of this moment, and Kapok doing a really great job picking off just the, the, the right moments to get the SCVs while they're building. Uh, uh, slowing down Drewby quite a bit because, you know, running out another SCV, you know, this already is taking a long time to build and now a substantially longer amount of time to build as well. So these two Phoenixes really paying off for Kapok in terms of slowing his opponent down. Um, and stopping that SCV from he figured I <laughs> intercepted the SCV from finishing that no he, no there's another one out there so maybe he thought he did and thought he thought he had it too but now the Phoenix has overextended themselves a little bit tried to pick up one of the Marines didn't really do anything because there's another Marine on the ground Kabok going to be taking this expansion this probe is spazzing out like crazy because it's rallied to the same exact spot so it's trying to get there and it realizes that it already is so kind of in a infinite loop of madness right now bunker thrown down in the front for Drewby and Kapok at this point, both of them are just going to be selling down to try to expand. Neither has a strong enough army just yet to break the other, to break their opponent down. Um, now that the medevacs have come in for Druby, it's going to be that much harder for Kapok to really kind of make any sort of offense. So going to be trying to do as much. <laughs> Look at these rally points. <laughs> um, normally, I, I think there's also the, the patrol <laughs> feature. But why do that when you can rally like crazy all over the map? Um, this probably is on attack move. So, But I assume patrol is the same thing. And 
thanks to the Blizzard Engineers for making that. Uh, but still, this is a kind of fun thing to watch. It's going to slow down over time and kind of have to keep in mind that your unit is being rallied all over the map too. So both uh, both sides is kind of bulking up on their units right now, really just focusing on a macro game at this point. Uh, I think Druby kind of under kind of gets a feel for what his opponent is up to. Because uh, has kind of scouted things out. Everything's going to be on the ground. The only air units really were those phoenixes for harass. And after two of them, uh, Capote just kind of stopped. I think he gained sight of that uh, medevac if he was looking on his map. But a drop going to be coming down for Druby to kind of distract and moving his forces out to the center. Saw that he Druby at least saw the phoenix kind of doing this massive patrol around the map. Uh, proxy piling going down. Although Druby will catch that, and no reinforcements going to be coming in. Going to be pretty dangerous for Kapok. Wide open field at this point, although Druby just needs to hit and run and gain some. There come the ghosts right now. Uh, EMP did not go down, unfortunately, for Druby. They were caught a little bit out of position, and now just going to be pushing as best he can. Meanwhile, I'm going to jump over. There is uh, Druby is able to get off the drop at the base. Going to be targeting the Nexus as best as he can, and forces falling down on both sides right now. Druby able to kind of wall off against the back of his base, and these Zealots are going to be running to their doom. Uh, unfortunately, Stim going down, Medivacs in the air. A lot of the fire is going to, to the Medivacs, so the units are taking massive fire while they're trying to get rid of those. And it looks like Druby had to, oh, accomplish his mission. Took out the Nexus while that action was going on. Uh, gonna try to take out more here. <laughs> Marauder's not so great against the probes, of course, but almost uh, the feedback going down on the Medivac, and Druby has to make an escape. But Great job on the time, was able to hold off at his base. Oh, blood stains everywhere on the ramp. Not sure if that's human blood or... Uh, I actually don't know if um, there's any blood for the zealots. I haven't been... It looks like it's just an uh, explosion of parts. No, there isn't, so that must have been human blood. Marine human blood laying out there. I wonder if that means that zealots or protoss can't get eaten by vampires. That'd be pretty interesting, because they'd be immune to the current plague of vampire stuff going out right now. Um, someone should make a movie about that, uh, Vampires and Protoss. Um, so right now, Druby going to be re-holding down his fort. I think, looking at the army tab, 104 to 67. Uh, Kapok was severely handicapped by having his Nexus taken down and needs to build another one. But look at all these <laughs> probes remote mining. I, I don't know if I would do that. I think I would just like rally everyone here and just go crazy nuts on my, on my expo at this point. But... He wants to remote mine because it's kind of the cool thing to do. And once they finish, you want to think about, oh, this, this area is already mined out anyway. So not that big a deal. Uh, didn't really need to replace his Nexus here. Uh, maybe he just wants to gas. Anyways, it looks like Druby's going to be moving in, picked up, sighted by the, sighted by the, uh, the pylon right there. And doesn't, I think he's a little bit reserved, probably giving his opponent a good amount of respect at this point because he is significantly ahead and could probably just push in right now. Though he doesn't know that, um, for all he knows, his opponent has a massive number of Templars just waiting around to side storm, which he does, of course. But now going for there is a, there is something going on. Somebody's pinging somewhere because um, they want somebody to look at the fact that the Nexus is reestablished or that they're researching something. I'm not sure. Anyways, action going on all over the map. I'm being pinged left and right. I don't know by who or what. And Druby going to be doing a drop in two places at once. Two massive drops going down. Uh, this will force the split up of Kapok's forces to deal with both. I don't know if he has enough on the other side. Sidestorm going down, of course, and Druby trying to... The majority of his forces are actually here. And trying his best to do some damage. The Nexus goes down yet again for Kapoch and uh, Kapok and having to retreat on one front. On the other front, Sidestorm is going down, but not going to be enough to take out. Barely enough to get them all the way down. And the, <laughs> the Medivacs have been fed back again and again, so they aren't even healing right now are barely getting able their heals out. And Zealot's going to be moving in. Uh, Druby probably not, well, wasn't looking at that particular moment in time, was I think moving this force out. So wasn't able to kite his units momentarily, but able to get them out in time in the safety of the Medivacs. And now Druby going to be coming down, uh, taking out everything, splitting up the forces. And I think it's just a great general strategy by Druby, obviously coming in with multiple attacks, not trying to run the front, because when you run the front, that happens to you. Massive Cyberstorms will rain down on top of you, stuff that you don't really want as a Terran player, and now just cutting around. And Druby takes game one, so game one goes to Root Gaming, Druby versus Kapok. Druby will move on to the next round since this is King of the Hill, and uh, this has been JCS StarCraft. I am signing off.